Hello everybody and welcome back to the sparkling water power hour where I'm gonna chug this entire sparkling water <laughs> And it's gonna take me an hour. Welcome back to the second channel. Thank you for coming back. Uh, it's gonna be a really exciting time today. I, uh, I've been having a good week. I hope you have as well. We're gonna get into the subreddit. Should be lots to talk about this week. I've had a lot going on, which if you've been in the subreddit, you could probably tell, but I was visiting Curtis in Toronto for his birthday. I surprised him. That was really fun. I ran my half marathon. I think there was about 24 hours in between when Curtis's birthday celebration ended and when I was waking up to run that half marathon. So I think there will be posts about that so we can get into it. Um, but overall, it was a very fun week. Also, sorry for the mess behind me. I know I joked about it in a previous episode about like, did I paint my wall or did I move? We're moving right now. We're in the process of like getting settled and stuff. So over the course of the next few episodes, you'll probably see a change back there a bit. Just trying to get things settled and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, let's uh, hop into the subreddit and let's see what's been popping off here this week. You're removing one of Danny's facial features every day. Meanwhile, Danny is adding one muscle every day. Let's go, dude. Look at that sweaty mess of a man. You know, in terms of things that could be at the top of the subreddit this week, this is phenomenal, honestly. A post just saying Danny has muscles. Hell yeah, dude. This is great. This is the only picture I've seen of him where he doesn't look like he's 14. I know, right? He looks like he's 15 in this picture. Okay, well, okay. It's a subtle improvement. I think this was like right at the end of the half marathon, I think. It must have been close to it, if not like at the very end, because I dumped water on my head. That's why I'm drenched. This is not all sweat, I promise. Some of it is actually just water that I dumped on my head, although there was a lot of sweat. Overall, my half marathon went pretty well, and by pretty well, I mean actually I wish it went a lot better. I posted on my Instagram story that I beat my last time by like a minute. I think it was really like two or three minutes, but I was hoping to do so much better, and I had been running so much better in my practice. I think my overall pace for this half marathon was like 8.30 per mile. And I had been running, practicing with the intention of like running at like at like a eight minute pace, eight minutes per mile. And I think I just totally fucked up, honestly. I still don't really know what it was, but I have a lot of excuses and those are what are getting me through the days right now. I think the biggest thing was I run usually when I'm, when I'm doing like just regular training runs between an eight minute and an 820 minute mile, never faster than like 755. And this, this will happen sometimes on runs. My watch was telling me that I was running a lot slower than I actually was. It was telling me, it told me I ran the first two miles at like a 930 pace. So for those first two miles, I kept being like, shit, I'm going slow. I need to speed up. And then after those two miles or after like, honestly, after like four or five miles, I was like gassed. I was like, why the fuck am I so tired? I haven't even been running that fast. My heart rate was like, up skyrocketing and uh turns out i looked at my running app afterwards turns out i actually ran the second mile at a 730 pace which is like 30 seconds faster than i was intending or that than i ever run like i had no business running that fast i think it was just like adrenaline and me trusting my watch which i never should have then i was just kind of tuckered out the rest of the race and um yeah maybe i can show my splits on screen but it was it wasn't pretty but I ended up besting myself from last year. And that's really all that matters, you know? All these other people around, they're not important. It's not important who else you beat aside from yourself. Sort of a masochist in that way. Danny Gainzales. Up until like the past couple weeks, I had been in the gym a lot. I kind of go back and forth between like lifting weights and running. And then when my running schedule gets like a lot heavier, then I, I find less time to lift because I'm so tired. So I kind of go back and forth. I'll spend like three months going to the gym three times a week. And then I'll spend a few months like running five times a week and then i'm like shit i'm not going to the gym i just ran 10 miles now that i finished my half marathon i think i'm gonna get back in the gym get even bigger than the liver king himself it's a good day to be a gonzaloon okay this is a screenshot of a snapchat ai conversation that says what does danny gonzalez call his fan base the ai says i'm not sure but we can look it up what do you mean we together you are the robot you are like connected to the internet in the time you said that you could have already looked it up so this person says tell me and then he responds danny gonzalez calls his fan base gonzaloons okay so you can't look it up just say that then what a crazy lie i mean where do you get off dude the ai j clearly just made that up that's wild you'd think a being that has unfettered access to the internet could have just like spat out a, a very generic response with correct information see this is why i'm not so sure about ai guys I'm not so sure we'll be getting the most accurate information from it mine said it didn't know edit i asked again and it said gonzalez groupies so not only is it a liar it's also 
inconsistent. What if AI is actually just people from like an alternate reality? And in this alternate reality, I really do call my fan base Gonzaloons. The AI is actually this person who's asking it from an alternate reality. They both think they're talking to AI, but the AI has gotten so sentient that it's actually not a robot. It is actually a sentient being from another realm. Some sort of fucked up reality where I call my fans Gonzaloons. I found this funny. Okay, it's two notifications. One of my videos called I'm Zombies and the other one of a different video called You're a Grown Man. Ouch. Feels like it's in direct response to my video being like, guys, I uploaded a new video. I'm Zombies. Isn't that crazy? And the other video is like, you're a grown ass man. Get a job, man, woman zombies. That's the third gender everybody's been talking about. Oh god, dude, I saw so many comments about this. If you didn't see on my Instagram story, this is the picture of me surprising Curtis. Very fun. I've never surprised anybody before, like done like a surprise birthday thing or anything like that, so I was really excited. I coordinated it with Jenna. Also, Jarvis and Jordan surprised Curtis too later this same day. So we were all like coordinating, how can we surprise Curtis? And I'll give you a little bit of backstory. First, we were thinking like, what if Curtis and Jenna go out for a walk to walk Kiwi and I like get dropped off from the airport nearby and I'm just like on a walk and I just like happen to see them and it's a crazy thing or like we're thinking what if we meet each other at a restaurant. At one point I was like Jenna just sneak me into your house while Curtis is in a meeting and I'll put on like a crazy disguise and I'll freak Curtis out. He'll think there's like an intruder in his house. So I actually was gonna bring like a Santa costume cause that's the only disguise that I had in my house. Turned out it wouldn't fit in my suitcase so I didn't do that but so that was all the different ideas but eventually we just decided I'll just come in while Curtis is in a meeting. Jenna will sneak me in. I'll sit at the kitchen counter. Then Jenna will go get Curtis and say she has a birthday surprise. So Jenna brought Curtis down. Curtis was wearing a like a COVID mask over his eyes so that he couldn't see, which made me honestly almost start cracking up when I saw that. He was like coming down the stairs and I was like about to ruin the surprise because I was expecting him to just have his eyes closed, but he comes down wearing a fucking mask wrong. But uh, anyway, yeah, so then he came down and he opened his eyes and he was surprised. But that being said, I I was sitting at the counter like this and I've gotten so many DMs and so many comments about the way that I'm sitting here. People seem to be up in arms and honestly offended about the way that I'm sitting, uh, mainly my feet. Truth be told, I don't know why I'm sitting like this, man. I have no clue. I don't, I, I wasn't a conscious decision. Let me look at the next frame here. Yeah, okay, so that's just a close up on my feet. I don't know if I was like giddy and just so excited to get out of my chair that I was already kind of like, was on my toes. Isn't that an expression when you're like excited, you're like, on your toes. The whole surprise was keeping me on my toes. What can I say? So anyway, yeah, this is how I surprised him, like a sweet little ballerina boy. I also kind of look like I'm doing that Michael Jackson <laughs> dance move. That's how I surprised Curtis, actually. I surprised him by being there and then also by learning a Michael Jackson dance. So when he took off his blindfold, I was like, ow! And I sort of tipped my hat and I got up on my toes and I leaned forward like 70 degrees. And he loved it, honestly. Please somebody make an edit of Danny as a ballerina. Done. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there I am. I have to imagine this is actually not what they meant. I feel like they wanted the toes pointing in it, but um, you know, this is very nice. I look beautiful. He's just silly like that. I guess I am. After I got so many comments about it, I'm kind of like thinking a lot more, like self-conscious about how I sit now. Every time I'm sitting, I'm like, am I doing something weird right now? Am I on my tippy toes while seated for some reason? Okay, wait, okay, hold on. It's just cause I can't reach the ground, okay? That's what it is. Look it, look how high this stool is. That's why I'm like this, okay? I don't sit like this normally when I'm at a normal chair, but this was a high chair. I don't know why it took me this long to realize, but I mean, what else am I gonna do? Like kick my feet in the air? I probably would have got roasted for that too. So I decided to take this opportunity to stretch out my calves or my shins. I don't know. I guess I don't know exactly what this would be stretching. Yeah, I think I was just stretching, getting prepped. Okay, another post about the way I'm sitting. Surprising Curtis for his birthday is very sweet. But why is Danny sitting like that? Yeah, see, there he is with the, oh, he had two COVID masks on. Yeah, I think Curtis thought that Jenna was surprising him with some sort of like eye-based virus and he didn't want to get infected until it was time to reveal the surprise. Is Danny drinking a beer immediately after a marathon? What a vibe. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm drinking a beer after a half marathon. Excuse me. And I'm also drinking a beer right now. That's right, this isn't sparkling water at all. I'm 
actually shit face. Yeah, this is actually a common thing and I didn't really know about it until I started running. But after pretty much any race, especially like a half marathon or a marathon, you usually get like a complimentary beer. And I believe it's because when you run, you use so much of your body's like sugar storage, which is basically carbs and beer. What else is beer but carbs, you know? Usually like a beer will have like some kind of sponsorship role in, in a race like this and you get a beer. And honestly, it might seem kind of gross to get really sweaty and worn out, tuckered out even, as I said, and drink a beer. But honestly, it's like, it's come to be something that I crave now where like before the half marathon for a few days, I was telling Laura, I was like, kind of like a really excited to drink a beer after the half marathon. Just something about it. It's like, I think it's like how hungry you are after like a race like that makes everything taste better. So I was like excited to have a beer that was that refreshing. So yeah, there's me and my little beer. They do only give you a little cup though. At the marathon I ran, they gave me a whole can, but uh, yeah, I was hoping for more than just a little cup. It's actually said to be healthy to drink a beer after sports. Yeah, there we go, it's the carbs. You use a lot of energy when running and carbs help replenish. Okay, you wanna know what's something even grosser than beer? At least to me anyway. When I was running the Chicago marathon last year, Laura was running also, there was a stand that was giving out shots of pickle juice. For me at that point in a marathon, as someone who already doesn't like pickles, that sounded absolutely heinous to me. I was like, if I even smelled pickle juice right now, I would throw up. But Laura had some, because she likes pickles. And apparently it like gave her new life. I guess when you're running, like you lose carbs because you're, you're using energy, but also the thing that you lose is like salt because you start sweating it all out. I don't know if you've ever tasted your own sweat or a friend or anything like that but sweat is very salty. And so when you sweat a lot, your body loses a lot of salt. So Laura said she had that shot of pickle juice and it like saved her life. And actually I have heard that there are sports drinks like Gatorade-esque drinks that are basically just pickle juice, which sounds disgusting to me, but if it helps, it helps. Oh shit. Okay, that's literally the next comment. It's either beer or pickle juice. Either way, both are good source of essential nutrients after a run. Beer contains carbs and sugars and pickle juice contains sodium and, sodium and potassium. I saw an opportunity, so I took it. I like this. This is actually pretty good. Looks weirdly real. Looks like daddy Danny saw an opportunity and he took it. He saw an opportunity to take little Danny over a curb at top speeds. <laughs> this comment says aesthetic. I think they meant aesthetic, but I thought it said athletic. And I was like, I guess I do look pretty athletic in this picture too. Running very fast, pushing a stroller. This is what a real athlete looks like, folks. Don't get it twisted. Oh shit. Okay, here's another Snapchat AI conversation. Are you a Craig or a Greg? Oh, but they misspelled Craig. Are you a Creog or a Greg? And then they said, I don't consider myself either a Craig or a Greg, but if I had to choose, I'd probably be a Greg. Let's go. Very nice. What a beautiful conversation. He looks so confused. The hell? I guess I do. I don't even know what video this is from. So we were not only celebrating Curtis's birthday, but it was also Jordan and Jarvis's birthday. That's why it was like, a, it was a whole big thing. The night of Curtis's birthday, we took a limo to a karaoke bar. So that's what this is from. I don't know why I look like I am so out of it, dude. Loki, I actually hate seeing candid pictures of myself, I think is what I'm starting to learn. I think I actually don't like finding out what I look like when I'm not completely completely paying attention to how I look. You know what was probably happening? In my head, I probably thought in this moment that I was like vibing and I was having a good time. I probably thought I was smiling right here. I've gotten comments on this a lot and I know this is a thing that I do, but I have such resting mean face or just like, just like pissed. I just like, okay, this is my resting face, ready? Unless I am elated, that's what my face looks like. Someone could give me a gift and I'm happy and I could be saying nice things, but my face will just look like this. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Thank you. Yeah, no, I love it. That's just how I express emotions. I don't really know why. I often try to make a conscious effort not to do that, but in this case, I clearly was not, dude. <laughs> I think I was having a good time, but I look like I'm lost. I look like I actually don't know who any of these people are. All of like my closest friends in a limo with me for a birthday celebration. I look like, I look like I gotta go home. Dan the man looks like he's about to visit a couple's house and witness the death of their young spider. This is honestly probably how I looked when that whole thing was going down. That's not saying much because this is probably how I look a lot of of the time, but this is probably how I look. Danny kind of always looks confused. What do you know? You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. There we go. Th see, this is what we wanted. Ballerina Danny. Can someone make me Michael Jackson too? I feel like Michael Jackson does this dance too. This is one of the rare occasions when I smile, but I do like how much I'm smiling in this picture as I'm waiting to surprise Curtis. See, that was like a really exciting moment. That's when you get the smile. But other than that, I look to be dead inside. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What 
What kind of bad ad do we have here today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the strangest looking kid in the world sees an ant and gets the genius idea while making the most horrifying face. <laughs> I'm gonna give you an idea. He's gonna piss on the ant. Oh, the ant is calling to his friends. If you were an ant, what would you do? Tolerate or event? Would you tolerate getting pissed on to death? Probably not. Although I am curious what this game would be if you did click tolerate. Like, I have a feeling this game is gonna be about, like, being an ant and building an ant army to get revenge or something. But what would the game be if you just click tolerate? Would you just be getting pissed on? It's like, now it's just a game about being an ant getting pissed on? Damn. Did not really seem like an eye for an eye situation. You know, it was a gross prank, but I don't think it warranted destroying his family's home. Another Snapchat answer. Danny Gonzalez's male fan base is called Gonzalenians. His female fan base is called the Danettes. Weirdly, like, misogynist? Why do females get a different name that's like Little Dan? They're the Danettes. Us boys, we're the Gonzalenians. Gonzalenians. That, does, that doesn't even, like, flow well. Honestly, the Danettes is the better name. Those sound like pastry names. They kind of do. Yo, can I get a custard gonzolenian and a, what are those, little, uh, <laughs> strawberry danettes? Five minute crafts has become completely unhinged. All right, let's watch this shit. I feel like I've seen some of their videos lately and they're just like not even crafts anymore. Like they have fully leaned into just being insane and like getting views that way. They've completely stopped trying to give like useful advice and they're just like, okay, we're crazy now. Yeah, we're just absolutely unhinged. Also, fun fact, I don't want to speak out of turn here, but I think think that I have never reacted to five minute crafts before. This might be some kind of Mandela effect type thing, but people always tweet me about five minute crafts being like, look what they're doing now. You got to do an update on five minute crafts. I'm trying to remember because I have been making videos for years and I've made a lot of things about like bad life hacks and bad crafts, but I don't think I've ever made a video about five minute crafts before. I don't know. Maybe I just blew a few people's minds, but that was probably Cody or Drew or I don't know. I don't know who else. I think Jarvis has made five minute crafts videos not me so this very well could be my first time making a video about five minute crafts but hell i'll do it i'll give it a shot okay she found underwear in her house that aren't hers so she's like oh i have to rip apart a teddy bear i have to put a spy camera in the teddy bear in its ass cut out the teddy bear's eye stick my little finger in there and then oh yeah totally inconspicuous no one would ever suspect a thing now that one of the bear's eyes is gigantic and has a lens oh and she puts a GPS tracker in. That's not a craft. It was a crafty thing to do in the sense of like shifty and shady, but I wouldn't call it a craft. Now she's printing out. Oh, what the fuck was gonna happen next? It cut off, but right as things were getting interesting. She's starting to create like a conspiracy theory cork board. Name James, age 34, height 210 centimeters. Those are things you should not have to remind yourself about your boyfriend. She's like, okay, who is this motherfucker again? And what are we doing here? Oh, that's right, James, my boyfriend of 10 years. She ruined a perfectly good teddy bear. Boo! Yeah! Everything else in this video is normal except a teddy bear. Except a... Teddy bears, I was gonna say slander, not slander. Uh, destruction. Disrespect, honestly. She also moved the teddy bear. It was on the couch and she was like, okay, you're gonna get a camera back in your butt and then you're gonna go on this chair now. So I feel like she's drawing a little bit too much attention to the teddy bear. Danny would enjoy this, not gonna lie. What the fuck is this? If I pick up, am I gonna hear Alexander Graham Bell on the other line going, hello, hello? And it's the number one calling. I did enjoy that actually. Yeah, that was pretty funny. It doesn't really have anything to do with me, but it was funny. I'll give him that. The other day I was, uh, I was trying to fix my hair and long white, very thick hair fell out of my hair in onto my lap in front of me and I picked it up and I looked at it and I thought, this is probably one of my dog's hairs that got into my hair for some reason, but it would suck if I started getting white hairs pretty soon. <laughs> Little judgy there, Danny. I wouldn't want to speak too soon about things you don't know jack shit about. That is a strange clip. That's so specific. It's almost like I knew, but I don't think I had any gray hairs at this point. I don't even know what point I was trying to make in this video. I don't know what video this is from. I was just kidding. I think I was just kidding. I was excited to get gray hairs. That girl showing Danny her pet tarantula. 
No pulse. That's exactly how she said it too. Calm as ever. No pulse. My darling pet is dead. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if there's anything going on right now. I thought he accidentally put a pic of a random lady in his pose and I saw the background. I've been getting a lot of comments on these pictures. This is from my like recent Instagram post if you haven't seen. I've been getting a lot of comments of people being like, okay, Danny, we know these are Photoshop. Nice try. What are you using AI to make it look like you were in a half marriage? Marathon. He kind of looks like he was photoshopped in. I don't know why these pictures in particular are getting so many of those comments. They look pretty normal to me. I mean, I obviously picked like funny looking ones to go on my Instagram. Yeah, they're just regular pictures, man. I feel like the rise in AI pictures has made everybody so paranoid that like nothing is real. And honestly, that's fair. It's just, you know cut it out everyone who isn't ghostly orchid resisting the urge to post their telekinetic powers yes please please do not it's too hard danny please change this rule no the only person i'm willing to accept evidence from is ghostly orchid all right guys well thank you for joining me for yet another subreddit extravaganza hope you had a good time and i'll see you next time please put some very interesting and fun posts about anything related to the channel put it in the subreddit i'd be happy to read it and react to it in the next video see you then bye